Good evening and welcome to another Football Manager stream. This is part four of my Captain Goodspeed uh, Ladies FC Let's Play, I guess, in the Creator Club um, function on, on Football Manager. And we're also using the uh, women's database uh, made by Women on FM on Twitter. And uh, no, we've had a lot of fun with this uh, series so far. We've um, we've uh, we we we've got off to a good start. We had to build a, a squad from nothing, um, and as you can see, we've got the brand new uh, graphics on the channel down that side. I think, uh, as far as I know, um, it might well be the other side. Who knows? But uh, a big thanks to to Paul or FM UTV for that. Uh, go and check out his uh, channel. It's on my homepage, but uh, I, I believe he's having a few computer troubles uh, at the moment. So go and follow him on Twitter, uh, where he's doing a bit of a Twitter thread, which is really, really fun to read. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be a fun one tonight. I think uh, it might be a bit of a quiet one. I know Rivlud can't make it, the, the, the channel's top donator and uh, Patreon. And uh, or TIJ can't make it either for at least the first hour because he's watching some sort of dinner ladies nonsense. But uh, I'm sure anybody else who comes along tonight will have some fun with it. So shall we get into some football manager then? Um, if we go into this and you can see we're on my profile page here. Uh, I just thought it was quite interesting looking at some of the stats. Uh, I've got a decent reputation. We started with international footballer, to be fair. Um, I don't remember doing that, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> that's the way it goes. There's Arsenal ladies. And they're in the Europa League this year, just like in real life. Eh? Um, there's actually... Oh, hey, somebody else has joined. Hello to whoever has just jumped into the stream. Uh, I've been talking to myself for about uh, three minutes or so, but if you're watching this as a video, uh, then, uh, you know, as all of them are released as videos straight afterwards, um, yeah, make sure you check them out. Hello to Isaac and hello to Lucas Malice as well. How are you doing tonight? Um... Yeah, so currently, after 14 games, we're, we're in sixth place, which I think is not too um, not too bad, considering we, we started fresh. Hi, Joe. How did Toby get a player? Uh, because Toby is... Um, oh, he's donated to the channel, and he's also a good friend of mine, and he does the podcast with me, and he's uh, a moderator. So that's how, CJ. Don't be salty about it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're we're currently sixth uh, on 18 points from 14 games. I think that's a very good start of the season. We have had a bit of a sticky patch recently, as I alluded to on Twitter. Uh, we've we've lost five of the last eight games, and we've only won two of the last ten, is that or nine? Um, so that's not good form. But hopefully we can come back today, starting against um, against Evan. He's gonna go and get an apple. Okay, see you later, uh, Lucas. Hope you. Hope you enjoy your apple. Sophie O'Rourke's late winner, blah, blah, blah. We'll send the assistant to that. Um, I don't think we'll be streaming for the full hour and a half tonight. Um, I think it'll just be a bit of a shorter stream, especially if not many people turn up tonight. Um, then then we will cut it short a little bit. But uh, no. Um, since the last episode, we've had... Uh, quite a few developments. I'm now going to be part of the Football Manager eSports event on the 1st of April in Birmingham. Um, top prize of £25,000 and uh, also getting to manage uh, a real-life football match. So I will be part of that. Um, and, you know, if it wasn't, if it wasn't uh, for you guys, I would never have that opportunity. But CJ, you're good to miss the podcast. Well, the podcast is on the channel. There's a playlist on the homepage. And, um, yeah, it was a good one last night, so go and check it out. We talked about the Premier League uh, uh, for for about 40 minutes uh, in the end, which was which was really good. I think you'd quite enjoy it. Billy Stevens, how are you, sir? I'm not doing too bad. Emma Murphy, there's a blast from the past. Uh, hi, Joe, is it only the English Women League there, or is it around the world? No, there's, there's plenty of leagues around the world if we, if we go into this 
competition reputation. You've got the Division One feminine, uh, whatever that is. You've got the the Frauen Bundesliga. Um, so you've got all of these leagues here. Yeah, the Scottish Women's Premier League uh, is right there as well. So yeah, and and bear in mind that this is the first version of the 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 database, the one that I'm using. But there is um, there is um, a, a second version, and I think a third version is coming out as well. <coughs> so um, yeah, there's 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 plenty of women's leagues on here, and it's a really really good database. Uh, I'm not even going to read that, Isaac. <laughs> Hello to Just Tommy. Um, how are you doing? Congrats. Uh, P.S. I get to manage, coach, an SAN team. That's brilliant, CJ. That's brilliant. That's fantastic. Uh, the missus is actually involved in um, SAN rugby. Uh, her brother is autistic and he, he um, goes to this um, sort of well Stockport rugby club but they have a uh, a team for people with special needs and uh, and she gets involved with that so yeah definitely respect you for that does Newcastle have a team no uh, because... <laughs> Isaac I'm laughing at you um, does Newcastle have a team I don't think they do no, certainly not in the the top two divisions, um, but Durham do. Durham have a team, as do Sunderland. So there you go. I don't think Newcastle have a particularly prominent women's team, but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not that clued up on the uh, the women's database. Uh, I'm not too bad. How many episodes do you have of LA Noir left? I believe there's nine, including the one on Saturday. Um, so yeah, it's still quite a way to go. It will be um, going on until about May, which is good, and and then we'll do one episode of NCIS, the one that I need to finish. Great database. Best team in Scotland is Glasgow City. They always get to the Champions League. That's fantastic, you know. Um, for a, a team to be named not after. Um, you know, one of the men's football teams for them to be the best team in the the Scottish league is fantastic. Ah, <sighs> Miss Captain Goodspeed. I I don't remember what happened last last episode, but Tabatha's not playing well, so we'll put on uh, the misses into midfield. Um, Joe is next week's podcast the F one special. Yes, it is. It is the F one season preview will be on um, Tuesday at eight pm. So come and join us if you want to see that. <laughs> Who said fag, Bemmy? <laughs> you like your new brand? And yes, definitely, Cautious Paul. Thank you for the recommendation. Very, very good. Uh, do you like it? <laughs> and when's the comeback happening? When's the comeback happening? Uh, where is Tokyo? I don't know where Tokyo is. Evening to Sean and evening to Joe Hansel. How are you both doing? And hello to Cautious Paul uh, as well. Uh, hopefully you are all doing all right. And well, we are getting a little bit of a crowd together now. It was a bit lonely the first three or four minutes of the stream where I was just talking to myself. But uh, it's nice to see a few years in here. Thank you very much for coming along and spending a little bit of your evening with me. Um, is there any male players in, in with the leagues? That don't, I don't know... Uh, just Tommy, um, but we do have uh, an in, uh, a boy player in here because it looks like the regens are still boys. So yeah, I'm sure that's something that'll be ironed out for future patches. But it's funny for this uh, database anyway. We can just change his name. Um, ah, he's a good lad. He certainly is. He certainly is. Um, delayed too much real stuff going on. It's always the way, Paul. To be honest with you. Um, I've been pretty hectic recently, thinking, of how am I going to get all the videos done for this weekend and next week? And oh, it's just, uh, it's just hectic, 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 hectic. Lawrence into the middle, Doherty gets it away. It's a penalty for goodness' sake. Hey dear, I'll definitely, definitely be watching the podcast next week. That's great to hear, just Tommy. Hopefully you enjoy it. Magal, oh, it's a goal. Everton have scored. It's one nil. Boo. Um. Hello to Aaron Hart, how are you doing? Uh, where is Tokyo? Japan. 
Evening, Captain. Congrats on making the FM Charity... No, it's not the Charity Cup. It's the uh, the eSports event. I was invited to the Charity Cup, but uh, I realised Leamington was a, a four-and-a-half-hour drive away, and I don't think that would be the best idea. Um, you know, going into exam season and stuff. But, uh, no, it's the it's the um, the FM... Uh, esports event it's it's something totally different actually um but no thank you anyway for the the good luck wishes and uh, i'm looking forward to it it's a bit nerve-wracking you know i'm playing for 25 grand at the end of the day uh, and cautious paula you've just stepped up and scored a goal just before half time so thank you very much for that um anyone's stream not working hopefully that's an isolated issue uh, esports then, there you go, there you go, aye, the Charity Cup, something else, um, organised by Fox in the Box, it's, it, it's a very good event as well, um, that's, that's going on, I was invited to it, but I, it just, just isn't, you know, feasible to get there, particularly, um, to play a game of football, do you know what I mean, um, Yours is working. I meant the esports thing. Too many creators events. Yes, a hundred percent. Paul Smith. A lot of creator events uh, going in. It's uh, it's crazy, isn't it? It's it's crazy. What's happened to Football Manager this year? Cautious Paul. We were the 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 revolutionaries of this. You know, we we came up with the FM League last year, uh, and um, and and then all of a sudden the Creators Cup comes about and. <laughs> <laughs> and all this esports stuff. It's obviously down to what we did last year, wasn't it? So <laughs> Um No, it's 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 great. It's absolutely great. Petrick Oh hits the post. That's unlucky. That is unlucky. Can I put a bet on you if it's the esports? Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think the safe money's on me. Uh, um I, I have heard actually that all of the teams are gonna be um randomly picked so you know it's not like a traditional fm draft where people pick their players we're all going to be randomly assigned players so that's going to be totally um crazy i think trying to fit these random players into your team it's going to be crazy uh yours is working now that's brilliant uh hello from italy Ah, oh, they've just i thought that was us scoring hello jimmy man how are you doing I wouldn't put a bet on if I'm esports. It's totally and utterly random. I agree. I agree. Uh, oh, dear. Right. I'll put these scissors down. Don't, don't want to be stabbing myself. Oh, here's, here's Hodson with a chance. How do you miss? How do you miss that? Oh, I fiddled with me OBS settings and it doesn't seem to have worked in terms of getting this Less jumpy. Although, I tell you what, it's a hell of a less jumpy. Brilliant. That's brilliant. It looks like me OBS stuff has worked. Great stuff. Well, put them scissors down, boy. <laughs> uh, great experience. Don't know what you're on about, Paul. I I'm assuming it may be the eSports thing. Um, no, I I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be, it'll be really good. Um, and apparently we can capture stuff down there, so I might release, um, you know, videos of of my matches there. Um, I will have at least three, so I think that'll be fun. Uh, we might even get a little vlog going as well. Uh, I think it'll just be a, a cracking event. Um, so all the matches are taking place on the on the Sunday, but if you get through to the final, Frida's just scored. It's two two. Uh, if you, Put these scissors down. Right, they're going in the draw. They're going in the draw. Um, there you go. I'm, I'm unarmed. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you get through to the final, you come back on the Monday. I assume there's going to be some sort of big build up to that. Um, so yeah, the, the plan is me and the missus are going to go down on the Saturday. We're going to have a day in Birmingham. Uh, stay overnight. I'll go to the esports on the on the Sunday. She can go back to Manchester on the train. Um, it was something like eight quid uh, or two pound fifty actually. I, I I seem to remember. I know that's that's a big difference. But um, she's uh, she's gonna go back on the Sunday. 
and then I'll join her on the Sunday night uh, back in Manchester. And if I get through to the final, and it's it's, <laughs> it's a massive if, um, then we'll uh, we'll go back down on the Monday morning uh, and have a good time there. Hello, everyone. Hello, Christian. How are you doing, sir? Barca two, Chelsea nil. It was two one in the. Well, oh no, it was one one in the the first leg. So Chelsea need two goals. <coughs> you nearly choked us there, Isaac. Uh, use Mrs. Goodspeed to just. I know. I I said that, uh, Paul. I said that uh, to the people in the FM chat. Oh dear. <laughs> That's it's it's crazy. I think I'll be probably the youngest one there. I don't really know about the other people that are, that are going to be there. Whoa, we've got a brand new subscriber, Jimmy Mann, the Italian, uh, or from Itali uh, Italy. Uh, so thank you very much for subscribing, uh, and hopefully you enjoy the content around here. Um, by the way, we've still got that target up ahead. Be trying to beat last month of ten pound, which uh, equaled January's target of ten pound. Um, so you know, if you want to, there's there's two links down this in the description on how you can um, I do it. <sighs> donate to the channel or help help the channel out, and everything that I do spend on the channel comes from that donation pot so the, the green screen you see behind us i've got a little pop filter here as well got a little lamp that i um light the, the green screen up with um and stuff like that yeah you're still not a 3k yet i'm not paul I ha i've actually had um the worst 30 days for a long time on the channel in terms of growth but it happens um, we'll bring John Osubadu on. Uh, it it happens. Um, we we've only had ninety five ninety five subscribers in the last month, which is the first time it's dipped below a hundred since probably this time last year. So it is pretty crazy. Um, but it's it's the nature of of what happens on the channel, you know, at this time of, at this time of the year. Kelly Cox and I had a good five games actually, but let's bring Frieda on for Jan. We'll do that. There we go. Thirty-two more subs till three k. That's that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. We'll 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 get there eventually. You know, we'll probably get there by the end of the month, which is good. And hopefully, if if I do all right in the esports, we might get a little bit of a. Uh, a growth from that um that would be really really good yeah two two nine six eight from lucas um his his live sub count um <laughs> it's so two nine six eight that's really good here's sigsworth by the way oh it's it's free deck cautious paul oh dear that was close that was close hmm so yeah, basically, Paul, we're not at 3k yet, but we're we're working on it, and I think once we reach 3k, it'll be uh, a really um, a good moment for the channel. And you know, it's the next milestone at the end of the day, isn't it? I only hit 2k in November, I believe. So it's absolutely crazy that in five months I'll have uh, done another thousand, uh, and hopefully in the the next sort of five months we can. We can do another two thousand. Me, me target was ten thousand for the year, and I said it at the start. It's, it's probably not going to happen, um, you know. But I'd rather be ambitious and fail than, you know, downplay expectations and pass them easily. You know, I'd, I'd rather challenge myself to get to that ten k. But um, it might not happen. It might never happen. But. We can always hope, and I think FM19 is going to be big for a lot of people. Um, and obviously, we've got Critic Captain uh, 18 coming out as well. So there's there's plenty of time to uh, grow, but not plenty of time to come back in this game. That's really annoying. It's one nil now at Liverpool, and 
we just seem to have hit a brick wall in terms of performance. And I don't know whether it's because of the, the winter update to Football Manager that we just are rubbish now. Uh, maybe need to find a new tactic or something. But uh, 1-0 to Liverpool. We have had chances in this match as well, so it, it is a little bit frustrating. I remember playing a lot of this game until the 2010 edition. Now it's changed a lot. There's, uh, well, the women's football isn't actually in the the base game. It's it's a downloaded database. It's a mod, if you like, to to the game. Um, but yeah, uh, there's you, you can have women footballers, um, but it's not actually in the game yet. If that makes any sense at all. Here's Clark. Clark on the ball. Go, good tackle by the misses. That's in towards Cleveland and Everton. The two 0 up at Arsenal, which is a good result for them. Uh, it was forward towards Frieda, but couldn't do anything. Lucas Malice was there, but couldn't do anything. Now Small gets it away towards AEC. Miss Captain Good Speed. Come on, Lucas Napier. Gets it forward. Here's AEC. AEC on the ball. Gets it forward. It's in. Frieda has scored another goal. And it's one all. We're back in it, everybody. You know, we drew 2 2 with Everton last time out. Good tackle by the missus. <laughs> Evening, Bellex. How are you doing, sir? Parmo Army and all of that. Sigsworth hasn't been very good recently. Bring Lucas off as well for Toby. And Holly Nate, yeah. Nah. We'll bring off Nikolai Doherty and put Rivlud on. Even though he can't be bothered to turn up for the stream, we'll put Rivlud on. Um, nah, he's at work tonight, so. That's the reasoning behind that. Lloyd forward, cautious Paul. Oh, good recovery there. That could have been terrible. Here's Frieda, forward to Ian Petrick now. Oh, that's forward to Frieda. Oh, what a goal from Frieda there. That was fantastic. Uh, Bellix is very good. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad, thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed the finale of the, the Rovers return uh, on Monday. It was a good ball from uh, Jan there, and, and then Frieda, what a shot that was, and it's 2-1. I don't know what to think about that goal, as I'm a Liverpool supporter. <laughs> ah, well, your allegiances are with us. Oh, damn it, Laura Coombs has just scored a screamer as well, it's 2-2. Oh, is this going to be the episode of 2-2s? It was a good cross in though. Toby got away. Parker I was chasing down, bless her. But uh, she couldn't do anything. Cautious Paula with the assist. 2-2 Two -two now. Urgh. Greenwood. Now England. England forward to Clark. It's a penalty. Parker Oh, what are you doing? Hey. Loving the Blackburn series. Well, it's finished now, Bellix. I, I apologise. Do a Liverpool save? Um, probably not. I, I probably won't do one. Frida is better than Kane. <laughs> she certainly is. Uh, Desmond. Laura Coombs is the person I suggested in the first vid. Ah, cool. Cool. I'm a star. You certainly are cautious, Paul. Uh, we've been beaten 3 2. Very annoying. Especially considering it was a penalty. You know, that, that got us in the end there. So we'll come out of that. And we've got one point out of the first two games. We really, really need to to book up our ideas in this league. If we're to, to get back to the dizzy heights of second that we were earlier in the season. The good thing is, is that we're five points clear of Reading. Who are in eighth. Which is pretty much... Uh, we're looking like we can get European football this season. Uh, we haven't got that many games left, you know. Uh, we're about halfway through the season now. I think Sunland 
is uh, the start of the the next phase. So um, Chelsea and Birmingham, and then then we are officially halfway through. So Frida doing well, which is good to see. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can go and get a result get against Chelsea. Uh, it's going to be tough. Texting my mates so they can come along. Ah, thank you very much, Lucas. Hopefully they enjoy. Hopefully they can watch you uh, watch you play to the the best of your abilities. And oh dear, I didn't mean to say that. That's why you should concentrate when playing football, manager on camera. But I didn't. I didn't. Then um, that was awful. Yeah. Hopefully they can see you play at the the best of your ability. It's your first season, so mid hundred percent, Joe. You know our expectation is to not finish bottom um, from the board, which is good. Um, I'm just a little bit disappointed. You know we had this start of the season, so uh, that there, and then it's this little run of form. I think once we've ended this, once we've won a game, I think we can get back on track, and and hopefully uh, we can do that sooner rather than later. So we're nearly half an hour into the stream, uh, and thank you to everybody that's stuck stuck with it. And first and foremost, thank you to anybody that's turned up. I, I did have a weird feeling that nobody was going to turn up tonight, and I thought the prophecy was coming true. Um, right at the, the start of the stream for the first three minutes where I was just on my own, chatting to myself. <laughs> but uh, no, thank you for, for coming along. What was for dinner? Um, a chicken... Well, roast chicken dinner, actually, which is a bit of an odd one for Wednesday. I don't know why, why she particularly did it, but it was nice enough. Uh, we'll bring off Kelly Clark because she seems to have completely gone off the boil. We'll bring Rivlood in at right back for Rachel Small. Uh, Sigsworth can come off uh, Patrick, I think. That'll do. I mean, there's Ashley Hudson as well. Why don't we play her up top? Put Patrick on for Jesse J. There you go. Let's go. Hey. So how's everybody's week been? It's been all right. Now, hold on. Let's see if this works. Now, um... Was it that? Maybe not. Hmm. Nah, it doesn't seem to work, <laughs> this Nightbot business. Uh, I tried it last week, didn't I? But uh, it, it really didn't work. Chelsea have just went 1-0 up. How annoying is that? Um... What did I have? Uh, was it on commands? On custom. Yeah. I don't know. People are going to think, what on earth's going on? I have the second highest average rating in the team. Brilliant. What's your favourite team? Arsenal. Here's Bright. Bright on the ball now to Bassett. G. Backman. G. Rafferty. Oh, it was nearly 2-0 there. Yeah. Doesn't seem to work, does it? Who cares? Who cares? I don't know what that's all about. I don't know, maybe maybe it's just not hooked into me, uh me me thing properly. We'll try one more time. Cause I spent all stream last time trying to work this out. Arsenal will come back to form, aren't they? I don't know what join channel means. Ah. 
moderators. Yeah. Ah, okay. I think I know what to do now. Let's see. Hold on. Bear with me here. Bear with me. So... Let's see if this works. Just out of interest. Uh, there we go. Aha! Ah, I think I think we might have just cracked it. We might have just cracked it. Let's see. Let's go into the chat. Goodness me, we've got a lot of chat going on here. Uh, those classic Wednesday roasts. What's your favourite team? So uh, next two games, bottom two, time to end bad form. Definitely. I'm a supporter of Inter Milan. Very interesting. Hopefully they do well for you. Teams. Ah, oh, bottom two teams. Uh, hi, I think you should do a walkthrough of GTA San Andreas. Probably the best GTA, not in graphics. Yeah, I, uh, I did really enjoy San Andreas. I don't think it's the best, though. I will be playing the GTA as part of my top ten. And don't worry, it's not GTA 5. Do you use OBS, Joe? Uh, if so, do you rate it? I do rate it. Um, it's a bit frustrating at times, but I think it's very good. It's very easy to use, and uh, it's also... Um, it means I don't have to do any editing, particularly, because I've got me, me webcam here, um, you know, it, on, say, the Journeyman. Um, you know, I can have this here, and, and I can switch things out, so if I didn't want the press room there for whatever reason, it's, it's, it's great. It's very uh, user-friendly. I would say, once you get used to it. So, yeah, I, I rate it. Uh, do you have the in-game editor? No, I do not. Uh, I've always liked Aston Villa. Cool. Ever played Monkey Island? No, I haven't. There you go, Nightbot's talking. Nightbox, there we go. Brilliant. On this women's save, when you get regens, are they also women? No, I don't think so, Bellix. Uh, I'll show you why. Uh, we've got a boy in the team. <laughs> So, I wonder, well, because that, when, when did they, them chats come through? Are you good at football? No. <laughs> I used to be. I used to be a good goalkeeper. I'm not now. I haven't played football in about three, four years now. So, yeah. And I haven't played football competitively for at least ten years. Which I I am only no about about seven years something like that. Oh, I think we just have to accept we're going to get beat today. Chelsea are a are a good side in this division, so you have a bloke in this women's team probably just yeah yeah <laughs> we should, should we call him John Terry oh that would be fantastic how can you have never played Monkey Island it's like you are young or something <laughs> hey dear what what retro games have I got that you might you might remember Paul you ever played Spyro <laughs> Year of the Dragon that's a retro game for me. <laughs> Cautious Paul, I gets it away. What's the next top ten game? Um, no spoilers, Billy Stevens. No spoilers. If you really want to know, then uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Um, I I know what my top ten is. I don't know what ne is the game I'm gonna play next. Um, the football man, are you uh, going to show play gameplay of Fortnite? No. Apologies. Probably not. Um, you should play Outlast 1 and 2. I would love to see you play it. Uh, I've watched them on YouTube, so I don't think it would be very representative of my reactions to the game. When you say competitively, who did you play for? Like, the school. Um, 
Not <laughs> not like a, a club or anything. Spyro isn't retro, dizzy is now. <laughs> I knew you weren't gonna I knew you were gonna say that, uh, Paul. I knew. Hello to Rachel, how are you doing? You're back early. You are back early. Or maybe you're waiting at the bus stop. That might well be it. How many wins on Fortnite? I don't play Fortnite, so <laughs> none. We haven't won in seven games. That's uh, worried, worrying. Um, Alex Kidd on the Sega Master System. That's retro. Yes, agreed. But also, what is retro is is this game that I I've never played in my life. SAS Anti Force, an uh, Anti Terra Force. You know, on the PS2. 2005. That's retro, <laughs> whether you like it or not. Now, this is a good game. This is a good game. And I know Balix will approve of this one. Tomorrow Never Dies on the PS1. 1999. That game. Good stuff. There's a playlist on the channel of me playing through that, if you're interested. Anyway. Um, I was expecting Newcastle under 19s or something <laughs> on my way to the bus. Uh, is Critic Captain uh, tomorrow night? Critic Captain is back, Billy. Um, Chelsea down 2 0 to Barcelona. Crazy. That looks amazing, that SES game. It really does. It really does. I don't know if you were taking the Mickey Paul and no one knew you probably were, but it does look good. It does look good, and I'm looking forward to playing it. Um, I bought it last summer as a retro game. Well, as a game <laughs> of the retro variety. Um, and now it looks good. It does look good. Uh, what are you doing? Is PS2 really retro? I mean, it's not for old people like you and cautious Paul Bellix, but uh, it is for me. <laughs> it's what I played as a kid, so I think that's right, Roll. What am I doing for 3K subs? Well, I am doing um, a, a setup tour, I think. Or a room tour. Love Tomorrow Never Dies was chuffed to see your playthrough on that. <laughs> There's also The World Is Not Enough on the channel. Uh, great news, 3K coming quickly then. <laughs> uh, I, I'm assuming you, you're saying that because Critic Captain is the only thing that does well on this channel. But uh, no, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that Football Manager has, uh, has found its feet on the channel now. Yeah. I don't know, I'm pretty nervous about Critic Captain tomorrow because, as people know, it's not my favourite game to play and if it comes back to sort of like a thousand views then that's not good for me because <laughs> uh, it means that the stuff I do enjoy playing is just not doing well. It's the England Critic Captain save back tomorrow. No, it, it's the England Critic Captain save. Um, I should play Monkey Island on stream. I played uh, a, a, a Spectrum as a kid. <laughs> Um, what's coming back? The Critic Captain tomorrow. Who do you think will win the Drivers and Constructors? Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes. Pretty obvious. I don't I don't see anybody else winning it. Football man, unfortunately. Old well when I'm just thirty. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're ten years older than me, so that makes you old, Bellex. <laughs> I mean cautious, Paul's only 30, 38 or something like that. Nah, Bottas won't win the World Championship, Joe. Bottas isn't as good as Rosberg. And Rosberg barely beat Hamilton. So, if Mercedes are going to win the Constructors, Hamilton's definitely going to win the Drivers. You know, bring us up on that if it's not true. Frida's just scored another goal. Good stuff. I reckon Vettel may make a comeback. He might do. But... I don't know. I think unless Ferrari are out and out the best car, I don't think Vettel will win. I think that, that's what Vettel needs to win, the out and out best car. I don't think... The, the likes of Alonso and, and Hamilton probably don't need the out and out best car. They just need a car that, that's capable of winning races. 
Lucas forward to Cole. Oh, I need to see. <coughs> <laughs> that all happened very quickly. I apologize about that. Um, oh, nearly 2-0 there. 38. <laughs> all right, 37, Paul. Uh, you hate the bus. Why Why would you ever hate a bus? Hampshire side, Hasha Bamla. Cool. I mean, yeah, sorry to be late. No worry, Dylan. Joe should pick you up. <laughs> she'd get there. She'd get there quicker if she walked. It was the person who cautious Paul flirted with in the chat. Emma, Emma Murphy. Emma Murphy, who was in before actually, so she might be lurking about. Um, bit of a long way. I never flirt, Lucas. Um, hey, it's two 0 Who just scored? It was Sigsworth, Jessica Sigsworth. You beautiful, beautiful lady. Uh, no, 30 years, 70. <laughs> Alright, 36, Paul. 36. I don't know when your birthday is, Paul. I just I just knew the year of your birth. <laughs> um, Joe should pick pick you up with a hot parmo. <laughs> she probably doesn't even know what a parmo is. All of the names uh, in the t in the team taken there. No, I don't think so. But I haven't heard back from the the Patreons, But I'm guessing they they probably don't want a don't want a, a place in the team. Um. So yeah, I'm sure I'm sure we can fit you in, Billy, at some point. Frida, cautious Paul. It's away. No, it's not. Yes, it is. There you go. Uh, there's night. A night bot going as well. Uh, how far away are you from Rachel? Um, well, two and a quarter hours. Six worth over the bar. Why is it so laggy? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe refresh. It shouldn't be. It it shouldn't be laggy. Um. Don't know. Um, I, I mean, I'm not getting any dropped frames on my end, so I don't know why it would be laggy. It, it might just be a little, a little glitch. Sorry, Billy. I'm almost as old as Putin. Someone from the northeast doesn't know Palm. Or, uh, Rachel's not from the northeast. <laughs> She's from the northwest-ish, northish. North ish west, shall we say. Uh, it's not like laggy for cautious Paul. Can Lucas play up front on that game? On what game? Can Lucas play? No, he can't, unfortunately. Cousins gets it forward to AC. Now to Sigsworth. Sigsworth to Lucas. Come on, get forward. He does to Cautious Paul out to Sigsworth. It's 3 0. Yes. Yes. When it goes into 3, yeah. 3D mode, it, it's just OBS, isn't it? You know, it's, uh, it, it's been problematic for me, to say the least. Oh, dear. It really did lag there for me in, uh, in real life. So, um, I'm actually going to turn replays. Off, I think for the save. I don't think anybody's really bothered. We'll see what it's like on this now. She's a northernish lass, <laughs> northwest. I must have about six hundred and seventy-two assists. I think you do, cautious Paul. I think you do. In real life, I'm a goalkeeper. Cool. I used to be a goalkeeper. Maybe it gets a photo. Uh, you see, uh, you see, into the middle. Sigsworth scores her hat trick. It's five nil. It is five nil. What a return to form this is. Joe Ansel called it before, um, and he was right. Uh, cautious Paul for golden boot. I mean, cautious Paul hasn't scored enough goals to uh, have the golden boot, but whatever the uh, the equivalent is for. The uh, the assists, then yes, definitely. 
Shall we have a look? How many assists have you... Only two? That's rubbish. That's absolute rubbish. There's no way that she's only had two assists. I mean, it's it's five now, isn't it? Uh, no, it's, it's only four, apparently. Of course, she's Paula. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, a 4.2. I don't think I've seen ratings that low for a while. That is that is horrific. That really is horrific. Oh, Sean has injured. Oh, we don't have a goalkeeper. Uh, this could be interesting. <laughs> this could be very interesting. The Golden Sock. The Ballon d'Or. <laughs> What did I say? Yeah, yeah, you certainly did say it. How many assists do I have? Uh, we'll have a look in a minute, uh, Lucas. The game is at it. <laughs> Quinn. Doherty. Quinn. So, yeah, I mean, if they sh shoot, they're going to score. Oh, Cousins gets it away. As long as they get on target, uh, that is. Because we've got Kelly Clark in goal. Gets it away. Doherty now, Lucas to cautious Paula. Come on, get forward. Go on. Go on, Paula. Sigsworth. Forward to cautious Paula. Ah, you see. Great save by Berger there. That was close. Good to see Birmingham women playing like Birmingham men's team. Oh, dear. Sigsworth. Lucas forward to miss Captain Goodspeed. Oh, it hits the post. Unlucky. But what a team performance this has been. Very, very good. Cautious Paula into the middle. Quinn gets it away. It's 5-0 and we are back on track. Uh, the Jenga boys. There you go. It should have been Jenga girls. It should have been. But never mind. Um, apparently we were underdogs for that game. But we absolutely thumped them. Which is fantastic. Ah. There you go, Nightbot's working its magic in the chat. Uh, it's great to have that work, and all I had to do was press one one button, and and uh, and that was it. Oh dear, OL Plays is out for three to five weeks as well. Oh dear. And we don't have any money. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, Birmingham have sacked their manager. Birmingham. Birmingham. Where are they? Oh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. There they are. Hey, Tottenham, shall we apply for that job? Jamie Sherwood. Willie Kirk. Ah, oh, dear. No goalkeeper on the bench. Because uh, uh, OL players was injured. Can you check my assists? Yes, I can. Let's have a squad performance roundup. Top goal scorer is Jessica Sigsworth with 10. We've got 5 each for Frida and Jan. And then 3 for Cautious Paula. Uh, 2 each for Toby and Ashley. And then 1 each for Lucas and Kelly Clark. Top assists is Frida with 5. And then Holly Napier with 5 as well. 3 each for Yane, the missus and uh, Cautious Paula. Uh, two each for Lucas and Jessica Sigsworth and Hudson and one for OL players. That's fantastic. Top average rating is Holly Napier with a 7.38. We've then got 7.33 for Lucas, um, a 7.31 for Cautious Paula uh, and sevens each for uh, Jessica Sigsworth, Frida Easy and Ashley Hudson. Good stuff. Good stuff. <sighs> Lone time, Joe. Um, it's outside the. Oh, actually, it's it's New Year's Eve, so uh, we do actually. Um, actually, I, I think it's a, a sort of universal transfer window, isn't it? So loans, right? Let's get loan listed. Uh, There's no, there's no goalkeepers listed for loan. Hmm. <sighs> I think, I think we're just gonna have to deal with it. At the end of the day, 
We'll get Cortez in. And we'll get Josh Webb in as well. Two boys. Oh, dear. There's Callum Pickering. <laughs> there you go. The boy of the team. What were we going to call him? John Terry. Six with his machine. Where's Tobias? He's watching Dinner Ladies or something. Uh, I think be no, it's not because he's got exams. It's because he's watching uh, Dinner Ladies. He said he'd be in at 9 o'clock, so we might see him. I don't have any money, Lucas. Uh, I, we've had £100,000 taken off the... Um, taken off the the wage budget if you look um, even if I wanted to bring somebody in on a free I couldn't because I, I can only offer them uh, like uh, 160 quid so that's not going to happen I'm afraid yeah the, the young uh, the, the young team I haven't, I haven't got anything either, so we'll just bring these two up, you know. At least they're goalkeepers. <laughs> oh, dear. It's going to be awful, isn't it? I mean, he's the better one, Cortez Reed. Uh, why is he watching Dinner Ladies? I don't know, because, because he's sad. That's why. <laughs> what a pillock he is. <laughs> Uh, great new feature, by the way, is when you watch this as a video afterwards, you should be able to see the chat uh, running alongside it. Look at this. Soon as we expose him, he gets injured. Exactly. Lucas is out as well. That's a shame. Joe, can I be in the team? Why not? Why not? Um, I'll tell you what, you can be one of the new goalkeepers that we've brought in. There you go. It's done. Hey, dear. CGS ladies face Sunderland in FA WSL. So Sunland, I think, uh, are, are just above uh, Birmingham. So this should be a game that that we're winning. In all honesty, it should be a game that we're winning. So it's not even a good comedy. He could have watched Red, Red Dwarf. Um, now nah, some sort of documentary he said it was. Bleh. Right then, Lucas is is coming out. We'll put in we'll put in Georgia Evans. We haven't given her a fair shot yet, have we? So uh, we'll give her a chance. Um, and we're going to need to put in uh, Billy in goal, and we'll see how he does. Uh, it's lost a bit of charm now, but the old series are a classic. Billy uh, can be number forty. There you go. Hopefully everybody's good and still enjoying uh, the the series, I guess. Um, I, I haven't decided whether we're going to take this more than one season. I think it would be nice if we can get this um, Captain Goodspeed Ladies to the title one year. I think that would be really, really good. Um, you know, I don't know how realistic that's going to be, especially with the the financial issues we've got. Uh, and if Sunderland beat us away from home, then we have got troubles. Um, change from Liverpool save to Newcastle save, so any cheap suggestions other than Paul Glatzel? Um, I don't know. I'm so far into the future on my Journeyman series, I don't remember the good players from the start, and I wasn't too high a team, so... You're going to have to rely on other people for that, I'm afraid. But um, I'm sure there'll be some good players knocking about on the, the transfer and free transfer list. Series 4 5 for me. After 6 was the decline. I loved uh, Dimension Jump Vintage episode. Series 6 is a personal favourite.
How can you go from beating Birmingham six or five nil to this <laughs> this abysmal display? Uh, it was a good goal though. It really was a good goal. But let's give them the Hanard Rolligan and send them out. Uh, polymorph. There you go. There's the Patreon uh, link. Yeah, the Nightbot's pretty cool actually. I don't know what the the tick is for. Verified apparently. Sharp. Oh, Evans. On the ball. Gets it forward to IEC now. Come on. Come on. Gets it forward to Sigsworth. This is a chance now. Sigsworth. Napier. Napier forward to Sigsworth. Sigsworth in the middle. It's, oh, that was a chance. That was a chance. Miss Captain Goodspeed. Forward to Sigsworth. Oh, that's forward to Napier. Maybe I enter Frida hits the post. It's one of those days on Football Manager where no matter what you do, it's uh, it's not going to go in. Thank you, Joe. For what? <laughs> right. Uh, oh, cautious Paula's injured. I think we should probably take her off then. We'll put John Osubadu on. We'll take Frida off because she's missed two clear cut chances, and we'll put Ashley on as well. And do that. Joe's not a dwarfer, clearly. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a dwarfer. Craig Charles is in that, isn't he? I think I know that much. What just happened there? I think Cautious Paul has just uh, has just teleported. Let's just see what happened. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I must have seen something else there. That was really weird. Cautious ball out on the ball. Now Miss Captain Goodspeed gets it forward. That's away. Now here's Napier. Napier on the ball. Gets it forward to Sigsworth. Oh, it's a good save. It's a good save. Only nine watching. Yeah, I know, I know. Not many people out tonight. I think um, it'll probably be... One more match after this, and then we'll we'll end it off. Voice of Takeshi's Castle, indeed. Uh, and Lloyd off Coronation Street. <laughs> now, nah, Takeshi's Castle was good. Uh, what comedies do I like? Um, Only Fools, I like. Um, what else do I like? I used to like Outnumbered a bit. You know, I'm, I quite shamefully like the Big Bang Theory. I know I shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Comedy isn't really my area, to be honest. I can't believe we've just been beaten 2 0 by Sunland here. These are the sort of games we should be winning at the end of the day. The home games against the weaker opposition are the ones we should be winning. And we haven't done that there. And that's a really, really poor result, actually. Not happy with that. Hey. Sunderland enter Europa League race. As if. <laughs> As if. That is shameful. <laughs> Alright, we'll continue on. I think the game against Man City will be the last one of the stream. Um, it's not that busy tonight. And, uh, you know, in all honesty, I couldn't really be bothered for tonight's stream. So, uh, yeah. Um, you know, I think getting an hour through is not too bad. CGS Ladies FC have announced today that they've successfully extended the club's credit facilities, which will help secure the club's long-term future. Um, yeah, I think we're in quite a, quite a rut financially. If you look at the projection, <laughs> we're going to be fifty million in debt. I don't know how much money you get for the Champions League in this game, so we should probably check that out. The Europa League. Um, did Arsenal do any? Yeah, they did do alright in it. 
Um, so if we head that up to the Champions League, can you see if we go on rules? Can't see prize money in there. Um, hmm. Maybe it's not on this screen. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh, I signed Davidoff, Spenan, Tom Carroll. Become a patron has come up twice in the last uh, the last few minutes. So obviously the night bot needs um, rejigging a little bit. But yeah, I signed Dave uh, Davidoff, Spinner, and Tom Carroll. Good signings, good signings. Eleven likes though, but one dislike. Yeah, we seem to be getting quite a few dislikes recently. I I'm not really that bothered. Um, <laughs> can't be bothered. What with this classic dinner ladies chat. <laughs> What's going on with the Nightbot? It's gone insane. Don't forget. Oh, dear. The Nightbot's gone off on one. The Nightbot's more active than anybody else in this chat. Hey, dear. It's funny, isn't it? Oh, we've got Arsenal first in the next next week as well. That's that's crazy. Um, uh, send assistant. Right then, Man City women. Let's take you on. So the missus is suspended. So bring her off uh, uh, Brioni Foul. Cautious Paul's suspended as well. So we'll put in. Um, put George Evans on the left, and then we'll put on Foul in the midfield. Swap them two round. And there you go. Good stuff. Hey, look at this. We've actually got players for the position for once. Why don't we go asymmetric? We'll go back to what we did at Fleetwood. Um, what's Sigsworth like to do? She wants to be... Okay. Nah, she can stay there. She can stay there. As a poor chair, we'll swap them them round and see if that makes any difference. Uh, football trivia. Only have five mil left. Need a cam. Kaka. Um. Trivia. John Terrell. Let's go for it. Hopefully we can win today, but Man City are one of the better teams in the division, so it is going to be tough. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we can do all right. Uh, I don't think we're going to finish bottom. I think that that's a really good season for us. Um, we probably will qualify for the Europa League, so I'd be really happy with that. Uh, the seasons are a little bit long though. It's going to end up being 36 games and between 10 teams that's a lot. Feels like Scottish football. <sighs> Ever going to be a, a retro stream? Yeah, we could do. We could do someday. Um... I do have a retro game series on the channel, actually, which is usually just over the summer. Uh, so we might we might incorporate some streams in that regard. Holando accepted my loan bid for Kaga. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, Ben Stokes is playing. <sighs> mm. 
Nah, I don't think we're going to win this, boys. Right. Um, half time. 1 0. Let's be aggressive with them. Come on. Come on, lasses. Let's do this. Let's have a, a second half to remember. Does Kaka have a European passport? Oh, Sigsworth is injured. Oh. Um, who else is playing rubbish? Brion is playing rubbish. Uh, so we'll play Toby as a central midfielder on attack. Will attack. Go on. Go on. Go for it, girls. They want 10 million for Terrell. Joe, bring KP back in, create captain. Um, I mean, he, he retired after the first season, Billy, unfortunately. I will uh, next year if he's still on the game. Uh, 2 0 now. Boo. They're going to start calling for me head in my own football club soon. <laughs> oh, dear. Got 15 minutes left. Uh, I mean, we've got virtually nothing to give here. It looks like it's just going to play through, unfortunately. Five minutes of at a time. What is Peterson actually doing these days? He's earning a lot of money by playing 2020 all over the world. <laughs> Well, we lost 2-0, and it's been a really unsuccessful uh, episode, to be perfectly honest with you. We've been rubbish today, and hopefully next episode we can sort out this form. But uh, we could well finish bottom if we keep playing like this, but I think Birmingham are just an, just about bad enough, um, although they they have beaten Sunderland, who beat us the last time out, so... Maybe we should be careful what we're saying about these teams. Um, let's have a look uh, at... Well, here we go. First 20 games. 20 games in a life with CGS ladies. It's safe to say that Joanna has wasted little time in bringing in fresh faces to the Brad Jokes car park. The, the current manager has signed 23 players for a combined total of 30 million, including troubled Birmingham Traquatista... Um, Frida Aisi CGS ladies will be hoping to put together a strong run of form over the next few weeks in an effort to boost their chances of achieving the targets for the season so this episode we have had an awful time of it uh, we started with uh, Everton and uh, we've only got four points out of today um, we haven't scored many goals either Apart from this match here, where Sigsworth was on form. You know, it's a pattern. When Sigsworth scores, we, we generally win. So, we need to get her scoring, basically. Make money in 2020. Uh, ending on a low, indeed. What a crap end to a good cricket career. I know, it, it's all because of England, though. You know. Um, I I mean, I wish I could understand what's been said in the chat. Shall we put it into Google Translate and, and see? Um, it's got a cry laughing face um, right let's have a look Google translate and this is what we'll do before we finish off today's stream uh, we'll translate some of this um, whatever this person's saying uh, what happens British and the CTM we on I have no idea what that means uh All because of Strauss, yep. Yeah. Completely agree. Completely agree. Uh, yeah. It's Portuguese, apparently. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, I don't know what you're saying, Kianux. If you can type in English, then I might understand you, but... Uh, no, that is... Oh, dear, here we go. Here we go. Uh, 
Last one. Um, I'm going to read this out literally. How many glasses have you? I do not want you are a uh, black. Ha ha ha. Only Jodo. I, I'm assuming that's joking. Um, but. Uh, I haven't got a clue. It's Spanish. Chilean Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bellex. Thank you for saving us. Um, anyway, that's where we're going to end. Uh, sorry, it's a bit of a shorter stream tonight, but, uh, you know, I, I am a little bit tired and uh, things aren't going well in the save at the moment. So we'll come back next week with fresh impetus and hopefully, um, hopefully everything will be good. I speak English. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. There you go, Keanux. Well, thank you for coming along. Um, yeah, thank you to everybody that's come along. It's been a blast, and uh, I'll see you next Wednesday for another Captain Goodspeed stream. We'll also be doing the podcast on Tuesday, which will be our F1 2018 season preview. Thank you very much for coming along. Uh, I really do appreciate it, and have a great week before next Wednesday. I'll see you later. Have a nice one.